everyone welcome back to another video so today we're going to be doing the new magpie full-on tips so i'm going to be applying these with um magpies acrylic um their low odor dream monomer and the O natural core acrylic powder so this is the first time that i've actually um tried the or this system and I thought I would film it for you just so that you can kind of see from um, a first time perspective. So I'm just showing here that I have already sized and prepped the tips and I already um, have pre-prepped my nails with a 240 grit. I've done all my cuticle work and so I'm just going to apply a layer of the Magpies Acid Primer and um, then we will jump in to doing the application. So I was, I was a little bit overwhelmed at first because I didn't know kind of what bead what size bead to use um it was a little bit mind-boggling at first but once you get the hang of it it is definitely such an incredible system i i loved using it and i can't wait to add it to my service um for clients so you can see here that I just applied a small bead of acrylic onto the nail tip and then I'm applying it onto my nail um, from the cuticle and I'm just holding and putting a little bit of pressure just whilst they are kind of bonding to my nail. Um, I did, I didn't, well, I didn't really know how long I was supposed to hold it for. Um, so yeah as i said this is my first time so you will see um especially with my ring finger i applied too much of a large bead and it did seep out through the side but that's why i'm doing it on myself and not a client for the first time so that i can get to grips with kind of how to use it so I did this first nail, I've left it at normal speed so that you can see kind of how long um, I was applying pressure for and just making sure that uh, the sides and the cuticle area were nice and straight and in line and yeah so that's what the pinky looks like. And then I've just sped it up a little bit just for the rest of the application. I do apologise because the filming of this was awful. And a lot of the time I'm out of shot. Um, you can see there, then it was just so, it just all came out of the bottom. Um, but once I just wiped that away, um, yeah, it started to... I started to kind of get my flow of it, the size of the bead that I needed. Um... I know that you can see some of the acrylic kind of seep up onto the tip above my natural nail tip, um, but that's absolutely fine because I come in later just with an e-file bit and just take that down. So yeah, I'll stop babbling on and let you just watch this bit.
as you can see, I have finished applying the tips. I have to say, I'm absolutely in love with these tips. I just can't believe how easy and quick they were to apply. Um, they were actually a little bit long for me. I don't tend to like my nails too long. So I'm just showing you here how easy they are to just trim down. And I did start filing and I was going to show you how easy they are to file. However, again, my angles and camera was absolutely awful. And again... Um, so I did start to film, um, the design that I was going to do on top. However, my phone died, um, ran out of battery. So this is the second time, um, I have done ombre with gel. So I've applied a layer of good golly Miss Molly and I've cured that. And then I'm coming in with a makeup sponge and some of Magpie's white gel paint. And I'm just going to build up the layer of white just on the end of the tip. And yeah, it's just literally dabbing it and just kind of playing with it and until you're happy really. And then I'm going to cure that. Um, I think I actually flash cure them for 30 seconds and then apply another layer and yeah just keep going until you're happy with your blend and then I do also apply um, just dust on a layer of um, clear acrylic just into the wet layer of the gel this just helps with um, the blending a little bit more it was a tip I picked up um, from somebody on Instagram and I can't remember for the life of me where I seen it however it does work and I was over the moon with how these nails did turn out um, yeah so I'm just going to let you watch again I apologise so so much for the awful um, out of shot kind of <laughs> angles and, and uh, next time I'll promise to do better um, but yeah, I'll just let you watch and then I'll just pop a picture of the finished nails at the end. So I hope you've enjoyed um, and I'll see you again for the next one. Take care guys. Bye.